Up us, and welcome for another episode of Jack the Greek with the Crossroad Barbecue from Heath Street. It is a bit chilly this morning on grand final day, go the mighty tigers, but we'll get through it very quickly. In a few weeks time, we will also have the Heath Street heaters installed on our roof so we can do some beautiful outdoor cooking, doesn't matter what the, the temperature is in Melbourne. So here we go. What we're going to have today is a traditional Greek meze called Kokoretsi. Yes, and we are going to test the Crossroad Barbecue with the rotisserie and we're gonna make a Greek kokoretsi. And you know what? I'm gonna to prove today that the Crossroad Barbecue can travel across states, across countries, and across co continents, all the way to our homeland in Greece. So here we go. We're back now, and I'm gonna show you the ingredients. So coming in closely here, we've had our offal, our kidneys, our livers, all marinating in the special Jack the Greek marinade which we can't disclose, but we know it sits in here. We also have our stomach lining, which we're gonna wrap it up with. Here it is. Beautiful, Opa. And of course, finally, to wrap up the kokoretsi, we have some lamb intestines that have been cleaned and left to sit in some water and vinegar and lemon to make sure that it breaks down any other um, uh, material that might be there. But they've been turned and cleaned and we're ready to go. So. Let's give it a go. It is the first time we're doing this. So we have the crossray um, right here. So let's give that a go. The key thing here is, is to put a good mix. So like that, you put that on, like we do with a normal gyro or a gyro as we know it. You look around for different parts and you just put them on, just like that. And you keep going with different sections all the way. So we'll do a few just so the viewers can get a bit of an understanding of how we do this. And then we'll come back in a few minutes to wrap it up with the stomach lining and the intestines. This will take us about four hours to cook on a slow to moderate heat on the Crossroad Barbecue. But as it is the first time we're doing it on the beautiful Crossroad Barbecue, I will be testing it and making sure that we produce a beautiful gogoretsi for our viewers and also our guests that are coming today for grand final day. And once again, go the Mighty Tigers. So we'll put a few more. There's the liver. Nice small pieces. You don't need very big pieces because it does take a long time to cook. Opa. Huh? Look at that. Doesn't it look fantastic? Hey. Eh? And I'm going to tell you, it's a bit chilly this morning. The Crossray heaters from Heat Strip will be coming next week. And your mate Greg at Heat Strip will be able to cook in the middle of winter. There we go. Okay. I'll continue and I'll see you very shortly. Opa from Jack the Greek. Opas, Jack the Greek's back again. As I said to you, I'll nearly get it done and I'll come back and show you how we finish it off. So here we go with the gogoretsi. We'll put the last few on now and then we'll start the wrapping. So we'll put the heart on. There's a bit of a, a, liver, a kidney. And a bit more offal. Just here. And we'll finish it off with a couple of hard pieces. We'll make it one, which is the heart. That is a nice solid piece there. We do a few extra, but we can put them on the frying pan, put them on the crossroad later for a bit of a mazette. So we'll put that aside. Now we'll grab the, the other fork, spear, call it what you like from crossroad. Oh, and one just fell out, but that's okay. That's why we do this early, so we can have plenty of time to prepare ourselves. So while I'm holding it up, I will put this just in front like that. And again, what this does is it adds flavor, but it also will just hold it a little bit closer together. So that's how we'll manage it like that. And there we go there. So that will sit there. And that will go under there like that, just to come around like that. And just tuck it in there. And this side here, just the same. We'll just prick it in there and we'll do it. So there's the second part of our beautiful crossroad barbecue with our stomach lining, wrapping it up. It is a bit loose, but what will happen now is that as this goes around and just clips in here, 
just like that underneath. Yeah, we will uh, we will now put the intestines. So here we have here our beautiful lamb intestines that we've cleaned overnight. We just cut off the little ends, and this is a little secret if you want to come in close and have a look. You put your lines on the edges over the the saw, the, the bowl so you don't lose your runs. Because this is an actual run. It goes all the way. So we'll use our little container. We'll find our run again. We'll put it in here like that. They are quite long, but I like cutting them into small sections. Yep, small sections. <laughs> Opa, here we go. So we tie the end just like that. Opa. Just like that. And we hold one side, just like that in the board, and we spin it. And what this one's gonna do, this first one, and yes, you can do it with two people, if it's easier, but I will manage it on my own. It won't be a problem, because again, we jack the Greek. So do it like that, done. Bring that over. Stick it there, and we'll manage it. Away we go. So we'll spin that round. We'll take it back this way, just like that. Just to hold this now. So the first one that we put on a bit of a funny one because it's all about trying to just tie down what we've got and we'll do that and then as we go they will get easier like that there we go see now it starts getting easier and easier and easier beautiful so just to show you how i join them i don't really join them i just pass that under there a couple of laps. One. Opa, we'll go this way. Or this one. Just maybe here. Here we go. Tuck it underneath. Just like that. A couple of times. Beautiful. And then we'll start the next one. So what we'll do is I'll continue with my runs and I'll be back shortly to show you the finished product. Opa, from Jack the Greek. Opa, you're back with Jack the Greek and as I said to you, we're gonna prepare a beautiful gogoretsi for today. For the traditionalists, if you come up close, they'll probably say, I haven't covered all the meat underneath and they're absolutely right. Because unfortunately, as I was finishing it, I dropped one on the ground, but we're not gonna use that again, are we? So we're gonna give it a go. Ideally, you want it all covered like this, but there's a few gaps. But anyway, the challenge is on for the Crossroad Barbecue as much as it is for Jack the Greek. This little challenge is only a bump in the road. So let's try to put it onto the Crossroad now and see how we go. Beautiful, look at that, huh? Opa. So we'll slide it here into the Crossroad Barbecue, just like that. Look how easy that goes in. I'm going to turn it on now. I did have it warmed up earlier. But I don't want to overheat it too early. This needs slow cooking for three or four hours with carefully watching it. So I'm going to leave it like that now. I'm going to put the lid down after I put a bit of salt and pepper just to top it off. Just a little bit on top like that. As it's turning... to give it that extra bit of a kick. So, once again, Jack the Greek, Greek Gorgoretsi on the Crossroad Barbecue by Heat Strip. Okay, come in close and let's have a look. Let's see how our Gorgoretsi is going. Opas, look at this. Hey, look at it, how caramelized it is and how juicy it looks. 
Beautiful. We've probably got about an hour left of our cooking, just in time for us to have our lunch before we watch the AFL Grand Final and watch our mighty Tigers win. So we'll wait for an hour. When we're ready to take it off, we'll be back to, to complete this episode. Up us. Opa, you reject the Greek again for the final stage of our Gokoretsi for today. We do have one of our guests that are coming over today to help us. Aliki, come on down. This is my first cousin, everyone. And as you can see, a Collingwood supporter wearing yellow and black, just for me, Switch Jack back. the Greek. So, what I'm going to show you here, Aliki, go to the other side, please. Yeah. When you lift the lid and you see this beautiful Cosray barbecue from Heat Strip, you can see the Gokoretsi, see the foam? That means it's ready to be, ready to be taken off now. So we've got to be very careful, Aliki, because it is very hot. And we'll take it off like this, and I will get you to help me, and we'll just put it straight in there. And always just be careful with these, okay? So what we'll do now is, the easiest way to take this off is to slide it. But what we're going to do is do it Jack the Greek way, and we're actually going to cut it down the middle, just like this. And we're going to peel it off. Like that. Opa. Oh. oh, you see how licky? See how it just all falls off? Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Eh? This has been cooking because you haven't asked me. I'll, I'll, I'll ask the questions. How long has this been cooking? It's been cooking for about three and a half hours now. Wow. So, yes, um, on the cross ray barbecue, it is flameless cooking, which means it will never burn or any flames cause any problems with the cooking experience. It looks wonderful, Jack. Look at that. So now the challenge will be to try to get this off in a nice orderly manner. So process it, don't get burnt. Okay, should I lift this up? Yeah, but don't grab it, grab its hell. <laughs> Got it. So we'll just drop it down a little bit, just like that. Opa, look at that. Are you getting a close up of the of the beautiful steam coming off the grass, the meat, for those that don't understand. So Aliki. The okay. next step, now I'll get you just to move it away, be careful. Just put it back on the cross ray, just like that. Just leave it there, see how easy that is? Straight into the slot, fantastic. Okay, so with this now, we're gonna serve it like this. I like it very rusty, I don't like it too formal like restaurants. This is Jack the Greek way, all right? Yeah, rusty. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is cut a bit of lemon. So I'll get you to stips here for me. Go, like that. Beautiful, look at that. And again, ladies and gentlemen, the Collingwood supporter wearing yellow and black on Grand Final Day. Just for, for the... today. Fantastic. Just for Jack. Oh, no. Okay. Now, very quickly, I'll just cut some lemons, just like this. All right? The lemons, I said, didn't I? Onions. Onions. You meant onions. Just like that. And I don't want you getting your hands dirty and smelly, so I'll just do that because you're my guest. Beautiful. Just a few there. And the maidano from the garden. Yes. We go again, just like this. And did you stick to the limoni properly? I did. And there we go. So, for the first step family episode of Jack the Greek, Kokoretsi, with my cousin Aliki from Burwood. Opa! Opa! See you later! Bye!